In the last lesson, I looked at comparison operators. Now, in this particular lesson, I want to look at logical operators, where we have more than one thing to actually compare. And so when we do our comparisons here, like 5 is greater than or equal to 5, I could also add another condition into the statement. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to rearrange my code a little bit. I'll delete the if statement that I have there. And let's see, I'm going to leave that dollar sign time is equaling 24. So let's go ahead and do a comparison here. If, let's just say, if, and we'll just go ahead and say dollar sign time is greater than 10. All right, but we also wanted to make sure that it was less than 30, or less, let's just make it say less than 25, okay? Rather than 24, we'll just say less than 25. I can use two different methods of doing this. I can use the keyword and, and you'll see and turns blue, and it will do the first comparison, and then also have to make sure that both of these comparisons are true. So we'll say dollar sign time is going to be less than 25. There we go. And I can go ahead now and have my code run. And I'll just go ahead and if it runs, it echoes out a statement that says uh, this comparison was true. And I'll go ahead and just close that out. And then we'll end with the curly brace. And then so if it's not, then I'll just type in else. And uh, below that, I'll just go ahead and echo out. Echo this comparison was false or return false or something similar to that and so what I have here in my code now if I save it and hit refresh you'll see it says the comparison was true meaning we took this condition and this condition was met and also with the word and and also this one has to be met so both of these conditions have to be met in this case which it is true because it is greater than 10 and it is less than 25 24 falls in between those two numbers so I can use that keyword and some people like to, just because they're familiar with other languages, they like to use the double ampersands, which is going to look like this. Now that will do the exact same thing. If I hit save and hit refresh, I'm still going to have the comparison was true. Just depends on the programming language you may have learned from the past and which one you prefer to use. So you can use the keyword and, or you can use the double ampersands. Now we also have the keyword or that we can use, meaning only one of these conditions has to be true. So what I could say is that if time is greater than 10, or time is less than, let's just go ahead and say less than 11. Now you'll notice that only one of these conditions will be true. This one will be true and this one will not be true. But when we use the word or, that means this one or this one, only one of those two have to be true. So if I save it and run this, you'll still notice that this comparison was true, meaning that only one of them had to be used whenever we do our comparison because of this word or. Now instead of using the word or, for those different programmers that are out there, you can also use the two vertical pipes, and that is going to mean the same thing as or. So it just depends on your preference, what you want there. Now if I use the keyword and, just to demonstrate, now one of these conditions is true, the other one is not. So what would you expect to see? You would expect to see, well, it's going to be the false statement. You'll see where there it is. This comparison was false. The reason being is because only one of these comparisons were true. So this is one of the options that I have here to work with. I've also got the XOR, which is going to be a little bit different. I can type in XOR between these two. So I'll just go ahead and type in X or. And with the XOR, it says either if the first condition is true or the second condition is true, then you go ahead and run your code. However, if both conditions are true, don't run your code, which means let's go ahead and I'll save it, refresh it. You're going to see that it's going to be true because one of these conditions was true, either this one or this one. But if both conditions happen to be true, then the code will not execute. So let's go back to 25 here, and I'll go ahead and hit save and refresh, and you'll notice that it went back to false. Even though we're using that word or in there, only one of these conditions have to be true or can only be true. So if either of these conditions are true, then it will run, but if both of them are true, then it will go back to echoing out the false statement. So that's the XOR. So there's a lot of different ways of using this um, comparison or actually logical operators here within our code. Just depends on what you're working with and be careful because words and and or mean completely two different things. And so test your results whenever you're working with the code to make sure it works. So this is the video on logical operators within PHP.